Happy Sunday, everybody. Here's a question for you. What would you do if I told you that I, uh... Oh, buddy, how are we going to word this? Because, you know, YouTube with their, their weird rules and all that. What would you do if I told you that I, uh, handle the, um, unmentionables of a little boy on a regular basis. Oh, buddy, that would be bad, wouldn't it? You would be, uh, oh, at, at best you'd be calling the police, and at the worst you'd be rounding up a posse with all the boys getting a shotgun, right? And understandably so, I mean, if you're armed with that information, it sounds like I'm a pretty terrible guy. Now, what would you do if I told you that I have a four-month-old son who every morning when I wake up to him, I say, good morning, son, and he says, good morning, dad, I pooped all over myself, you need to clean me or I'll die. <laughs> that changes things, doesn't it? So, do you see how quickly I went from a sex offender to a perfectly normal parent in seconds. That, my friends, is the power of context. And no. It is an extremely important tool in uh, dividing that which is the truth and that which is a lie. Here's kind of an another uh, way to express it. So a friend of mine, we do some work together. He's about 55 years old. And he doesn't uh, really trust the news like a lot of people do, but he didn't really know how to articulate his feelings on it. And I said, okay, bud, you're about what, 55, 56, right? I know your neighbor, uh, she's got a daughter who's about, oh, I don't know, 17, 18 years old. You can probably already see where this is going. Um, let's say you see her walking her little dog down the street one day and she just puts her hands on her chest like this and she falls over. And you see her, what are you going to do? Well, naturally, you're going to run out there. You're going to do the whole CPR thing and the mouth-to-mouth. -mouth, and you're going to do everything you can to save that girl's no. life. Because she is just a young girl. And you do not want to see her die. Come here, Bubba. Right? As luck would have it, two news reporters happen to be standing right there. And they witnessed the whole event transpire. So the next morning, you go to the coffee shop. And you order yourself a cup of coffee, and you look at the newspapers from the local uh, the local uh, joints there. And one of them says, on the headline, Good Samaritan Saves Life of Young Woman. And the other one says, Old Man Touches Chest and Presses Lips Against Young Woman Without Permission. Wow! You'd be really upset, wouldn't you? Because it sounds like they're trying to make you out to be the bad guy. Now, here's the thing, though. Are either of those headlines false? Uh, did you, as the, uh, the good neighbor, go over there and save that girl's life with CPR? Yes, you did. Did you run over there and grab the chest and press your lips against an 18-year-old girl without permission? Yes. Yes, you did. Wow! But boy, can a little bit of uh, context dramatically change how that story pans out. In one headline, he's the hero, and the other headline, he's a villain. But both headlines are saying technically the truth, which is the best kind of truth. And um, you're really upset about it. That's what we like to call framing. And framing is a really good term. I really like it. Let's say we've got a, a really nice uh, printed copy of the Mona Lisa. And uh, we want to display it over at the local art museum here in town. So I'll get all my tools and I'll carve me out some black walnut. And I'll make those perfect 45 degree cuts and join it and sand it and polish it. Do little engravings with a router and maybe do some brass inlay. I'm talking to making a really nice frame for this picture, right? I'm talking a $2,000 frame. And then we'll nail that up on the wall down at the local art museum, and it just looks gorgeous. It's a beautiful walnut frame. Now, with that kind of presentation, 
And being that we're at an art museum, it is possible that you might look at that and you might think, wow, how'd they get the Mona Lisa here at this uh, local art museum? I'm impressed. And it just might be enough to convince you. Now, let's take that exact same painting, uh, printing of the Mona Lisa. I run down to Home Depot, get some two by fours, some of their cheap uh, Chinese made galvanized nails, hammer it together, leave all the splits and cracks and warps that you would expect from a Home Depot 2x4, and then duct tape it to the wall. You go to the art museum, you look at that Mona Lisa, and you'd be like, oh, that's a fake, of course it is. Exact same picture, but because of the way it was framed, it completely changed your opinion on it. Again, same, same print, exact same thing, but because of the way it was framed, it completely manipulated your opinion on what it was. And that is something in this world we live in, in rapid transit information where everything is just sent back and forth like crazy. That is something you really got to be careful about. You can't just trust a news headline because it is entirely possible that they will speak the truth through cryptic lies. And that's something I want to warn you about. Framing is a powerful device used by media organizations nowadays to uh, push a certain narrative or belief about something, but it kind of gives them this magical ability to skirt a defamation suit. Let's go back to my first story about me uh, handling a, a small child. Well, if the news headline says Vinnie Martello touches a little boy, I mean, it would not be a lie. I, I do it every day. Again, the baby gets covered in poop. I've got to clean him somehow. And that is the game they play. So when you see a news headline, you shouldn't automatically assume that it's the truth. It might be technically the truth, but you know there's a very good possibility they're going to leave out context. I want to leave you with that warning because there's, you know, we're, we're all guilty of it is uh, there's this tendency for people to just read the headline use that as their source of information and go on about their business. I mean, we got busy lives. We got jobs to do, bills to pay, mouths to feed, etc., etc. We don't have time to sit down and read every news article that comes across our desk. But you can't trust the headlines because you'll be fed a bunch of garbage quite possibly. So that's kind of the, the little bit of a talk I want to give you today and I want to warn you and introduce you to the concept of framing because that is something you really need to be aware of in this modern world. If you've got any other topics maybe you want me to talk about for next Sunday, feel free to leave a comment in the comment box down below. Thank you guys so much for your time, and until we meet again, stay gold.